Jazakallah, Brother Muhammad Sheikh. May Allah reward you for this enlightening lecture. Now we would like to open this floor for the question and answer session. But before we do so, I would like to make a few things very clear. Please make very sure that your questions are brief, concise, and pertaining to the topic that has been discussed. Any questions that are not related to the topic will not be entertained. Um, we, will give in, we will give the ladies the opportunity to ask their questions before uh, the gentlemen on the left are given the opportunity. Uh, please make sure your questions are concise to the topic. Please stand up on your seat, uh, identify yourself by saying out your name out loud, and ask your question. Once we have covered the ladies' side, we will roll the mic over to the men's side, and then you will have to follow the same procedure. Uh, I would like to request Brother Muhammad Sheikh again to come and answer your questions. Brother Muhammad Sheikh. Yes, please. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, my name is Ifa Wasim. My question is, what was the status of the four Khalifas mentioned in our history? How do you view them? The question is, actually, we, we from the history of mankind, we only know four Khalifas. Right? So you don't want Khilafat. Huh? I'm asking simple question first. Her question, what is the status of those Khalifas in the past four, four Khalifas, right? The only four Khalifas in the world. But the Quran, we have come to know there are a continuous Khalifa from the New Islam's time and the, to the current time, the Khilafat is given in all times. So I, as a person, do not know because they are not mentioned by name in the Quran. But if they were appointed by God, four Khalifas in the, in the time, so their actions and whatever the, according to the Quran, I said, they, they, if they hold fast to the book, as we have come to know, their salah, the prayer was right, and everything was right in the nearness of Allah, they are the righteous Khalifa. But my, my delivering this talk was to educate people, it did, it did not stop. It did not stop as we have stopped the Khilaf or Khalifas all time. Khalifas are like successors in all time. The Quranic ayah that I read is as a continuous process, succession is being continued. Who stopped? That you have to find out. And why Allah stopped them? Or Allah is still giving the Khilafat to the people of the current times. According to ayah just now, Allah, that's the promise of Allah for to the believers. If they practice properly, the Khilafat was given to them for. But personally, I believe it is continued in all times. It was never stopped. So if you stop those as, at four, that means they were only people who were Khalifa in the world. From the, from the beginning of time till the doomsday, till the end of the Qayama. But we have read the ayahs that from Nuh al-Salaam's time till the current times, the Khilafat is going on. But amendment is there. So, I would just give one ayat, Al-Baqarah 2, ayah 141. Tilka ummatun qad khalad. They are the ummat and nation that passed by. Laha ma kasabat and for them what they did. Walakum ma kasabtum and for you what you will do. Wala tusaluna amma kanu ya amalun and Allah will not question you for what they did. So, if you go into the history, there are confrontations recorded about these Khalifas. So, if they were the righteous in the nearness of God, then the, they cannot fight them among themselves. And what, I don't know, I'm not, I don't know much more of this idea. But if the right people in the nearness of God will get Khalifa from time beginning. So, even if we believers in the nearness of Allah amend our salahs, Amend our prayers, amend and hold fast to the book. You'll get the Khalifa from Allah, Khalifa from Allah. He will appoint you. He will appoint you. So what should I say? They are the nation that has passed by. Allah will not question me about them. So why should I worry whether they're right or bad? I have no right to say anything about them. Whatever the history says about them, you read that history. But in the Quran, nobody's name is mentioned. And, and, and if you see Allah made Dawud al-Islam the Khalifa, he is a successor of all the prophets and all the believers of all times. If they were believers, they were also Khalifa. If they were believers after them, they were good people, they were Khalifas. And still today, if you believe and practice, you are Khalifas. So this is being continued. So this is what I believe. Thank you. 
I'm Akbar Basit. Yes, and, please. Uh, my question is, how can we identify uh, the Khalifas in current um, current times? I, I read uh, just now, I end my lecture, there were two, three ayahs I read to you that in Surah, I read the Surah in Surah Al-Araf 7170, وَالَّذِينَ يُمَسِّكُونَ الْبِلْكِتَابِ وَقَامُ الصَّلَاةِ إِنَّا لَا نُضِعُ أَجْرَ الْمُسْلِحِينَ And those who hold fast with the book and establish the Salah prayer, surely we will not waste the wage reward of the corrected ones. So I just now, and, uh, when I was delivering this talk, I was educating you that there were some Khalifas. They got the book. They inherited the book. And at the same time, they, they were involved in insignificant things. And they, they said that everything will be forgiven. So Allah said, did we did not confident it with you, the, these who got the book, that they will not say anything except the truth and they will give lessons of the book. So those people who are give lessons of the book, they are hold fast to the book and establishing the salah because there are people who established, who, who salah waste, uh, khalifas, who wasted their salah. That I also I read to you. So who are wasting the salah, the prayer, who are not holding fast to the book, uh, who are not giving lessons from the book, are not the Khalifas. This, so you can identify in the world who are doing this work. And you should also follow that. So you can identify any Khalifa in the world who is establishing the Salah, practicing the Salah, and who is holding fast to the book, and he is giving lessons from the book. That is the identification in the Quranic ayahs. How? Because Allah says, those who believe, who correct themselves, Allah will give you Khalafat. That I explained, Khali will make you a Khalifa. So what is the definition of the Khalifa mentioned in the Quran? Is the person who hold fast to the book, who establishes the Salah prayer, and at the same time, he is giving lessons from the book. He is not thinking everything will be forgiven for you. So people who are saying this, and he is not in the worldly matters. That is the, that is the current time you can identify. Salam, sir. So my name is Amir. And uh, my question is with regard to establishment of uh, Khilafat. Okay. Uh, and uh, through the process of democracy, sir. Oh, democracy. Can the Muslim world appoint uh, uh, Khalifa by democracy so as to establish uh, Khilafat? Well, democracy, as I understand, is, is, is basically, I'm not a very good in democracy. I mean, people who appoint, you know, by, by vote. True words, it's the people, government of the people, for the people, and by the people. <laughs> eh? Eh? Majority, you know, they, the majority of the people say that Muhammad Sheikh is a very dangerous man. <laughs> that's what the, he's asking, that can we appoint a Khalifa ourselves by democracy? That's the question. So now I will ex refer to one verse, Surah Al-Anam 6 and Ayah 116. And it says, وَإِن تُطِعْ أَكْثَرَ مَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ يُضِلُّكَ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ إِنْ يَتَّبِعُونَ إِلَّا الزَّنْ وَإِنْ هُوِ إِلَّا يَخْرُسُونَ And if you obey the majority who are in the earth, they will astray you about the way of Allah. They do not follow but conjecture but they do nothing but assumptions, speculations. So if you take the majority people are simple, innocent people in the world. There are many people who do not know nothing about the book. So if we suppose get a Khalifa, so to say, among the Muslim community by democracy, meaning you are taking the vote of an ignorant man. The, and that is what the Quran says, the majority of the people on the earth will mislead you from the path. And from this misleading people, you are taking a vote to a higher, to appoint a Khalifa. Where Allah says in the Quran, it is always Allah is appointing Khalifa from the beginning. So the clever fellow Iblis said, now we should also try to do this, how to, to make a Khalifa of our own. So he's developed a system by democracy. We'll take the vote of the people. So you must understand, Allah has made the Khalifa, Dawud al-Sam, all the messengers, all the prophets and the believers of all times. But at the same time, people are trying to, to develop, there were only four Khalifas and they were they are trying to develop now again a Khilafat movement and a, trying to establish the Khalifa by their own. Now who is this? Who wants that Khilafat? 
who didn't like it so you can understand it is always Allah who has been giving khilafat there is not a single ayah Allah gave the khilafat to the wrong people but it was given to the right people to the messengers and the prophets and the believers which they deviated by the devil so the Allah exchanged them so it is always it has to come from Allah and they are described what type of people they are the khalifa people khalifa so this is uh, and, and if you if you go another ayah surah yasin 36 surah 60 and 61 62 alam ahad ilaykum ya bani adam allah ta'budu shaitan innahu lakum aduwwum mubin wa ni'buduni hadha siratum mustaqim wa laqad adalla minkum jibillan kathira afalam takunu taqilun did I not covenant to you, O children of Adam, that you will not serve Shaitan? Surely he is a clear, clear, open enemy. And this, uh, that serve me, this is the straight path. And without doubt, he led straight majority temperament from you. So did you not use your intelligence? This is the covenant of Allah. Uh, Allah is saying, did I not took a promise that this shaitan is an open enemy? This shaitan is, is debating majority temperament of the mankind. So how is getting into the, our psyche that we should have khilafat and we should have khalifa of our own? Because he wanted the khalifa, he wanted to become the khalifa, he did not like the idea. Because Allah have given the khilafa to the messenger and the prophet, he taught Adam. Adam was taught by names. Adam was tried by, he was also Kalimatin Rabbi, then he also Allah learned the words also. How did he ask for forgiveness? Rabbana zalamna anfusana wa illam taqfillana wa tarhamna la nakuna namil khasirin. Adam in his prayer said, Oh our Lord, we have really oppressed our souls. If you will not forgive us, we will be from the losers. So it was all the time the Khalafat movement is there that people are trying to appoint a Khalifa from, from whatever means who is the person behind? It is Allah is appointing Khalifa and he's described who will get from Allah. And there are people who you can appoint anybody as you like, but actually in the Quran there is no way. It has to come from God. 